Quiet on the set, quiet on the set. Filming in three, two, one. Action! <laughs> drink wine but when I do I make sure I enjoy in front of a $60,000 CBO right here welcome back to another video guys we're here at the baggers and BS garage studio now right studio and this might be the actually this this actually might be the bougiest video I've ever done I, yeah I said bougie cuz I usually in my garage we film and we drink beers um, and we're what, what is this? This one is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Ah. The other one is Pinot Noir. That is the Tyson. So, I mean, when we're talking about a beast like this and such, I have to sip on this, so. This is why we are sipping on wine today. So this is the Harley Davidson Rural Glide 2021, correct? Yes. CVO, uh, probably one of my favorite paint jobs on the CVO that I've seen in, in probably the last decade. It's amazing. It's so clean, but it's so attractive. Um, I love the little details that it has everywhere. Um, I really love the direction that you have taken this bike, A, because it's one of the cleanest CVO builds that I've seen, performance bagger type of build, um, besides my buddy Sal. Sal, I love you. Um, <laughs> but this one, the, the, this, the, this, this is something else, man. There, and there's so much on here. Um, and believe it or not, this bike here was for sale not so long ago. I don't know why. You, I mean, you, you guys seen, if you guys have seen the other video that we did with Rich, uh, with his challenge in the back, we'll, we'll show you a little clip in a few. Um, that bike is amazing. Um, but but this, this is just, this, this is, this is like almost like studio style type of show bike. Yeah, so, I mean, to be honest with you, selling it was just a thought. I was considering getting it. It wasn't a thought. It was, it was full-fledged in, in motion. <laughs> But you're right, it wasn't a thought, it was full play. He texts me, he's like, dude, I'm selling the bike. I don't know what I'm doing no more, blah, blah. I'm like, are you out of your mind? He goes, nah, I got my challenge. I'm like, dude, like, your bike is sick. And that was even right after he just finished purchasing the carbon wheels. And I'm, I'm, it's, I was speechless. But he, he was dead ass on selling it. Needless to say, that has changed. Yes. I mean, listen. He, li he listened to the bike gods. <laughs> Kept it. And I'm glad I kept it for, for, for good reason. I mean, listen, it's probably, I mean, listen, I love this bike. It is an awesome bike all around. Um, I do feel it's unique in the sense, like what you said, it's very clean. It's, it's classy, clean looking, but it still has the basic performance bagger look. And guess what? On top of that, it performs. Yeah. So, and that's just what it can. I didn't go, you know, I didn't do a big board kit or anything yet. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Which um, you probably are. Right. So when I say I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, that usually means that I'll probably end up doing it just for all you, everybody who doesn't know me that well. Yeah. <laughs> so today what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be breaking down this bike. We're going to be doing a quick little review of it. So you guys are going to see some nice clips. Um, but I, I'm, I'm just really impressed with the way and how clean uh, the build came out. So like I said before, it's a 2021 Rogue Glide CVO. Um, we'll start from the front to the back, I guess, right? So um, we have the Baja setups in the front right here, which look great. They, they, they look really nice. I have both Bajas on my lights, uh, on my bike, and I absolutely love those bikes. Um, I like the fact that you already went ahead and cleaned up the sides with the Custom Dynamics turn signals, which I need to get for my bike as well. I love these things. It, it, it nice cleans and, everything up. And they're nice and bright. They're, they're bright, nice. it cleans everything up, it looks good. Um, talk to me about the bottom right here. Are these from Orlin S? Or? Yes, these are Orlin S. Um, they are, I mean. How about the tubes though? The tubes are from Diamond Lane. They're Diamond Lane Ford tubes. So they are, they're awesome. I mean, they're, they're, they're top quality. I want to say they're like 700 bucks brand new. They're not crazy expensive. Okay. But they get the job done. Um, and then the lowers are from, from Arlen S. Uh, correct. It, it looks sick. Yeah, and for, those, for everybody who's going to say that I cheaped out and didn't get Brembo brakes, that, that's not something that's well, probably, it's probably not in the. He, here's a fun fact Harley Davidson actually 
uses Brembo brakes. They just don't brand it as Brembo. They brand it as Harley Davidson, but they're they're Brembo brakes. Because they want it there. They yeah, there. yeah. So they're Makes they're Brembo brakes. Well, then I got Brembo brakes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Galfer rotors, I love. Yes. Um, I, I love the subtle taste of gold that you have just here, there, and there. Just very, very minimal. It kind of to me when people go all out with the gold everywhere, it's just like a little. Uh, you know, a little too much. Right? Yeah, a little too much, but it's, it's clean the way it's done. The carbon fender, where, where's this from? That is Hoffman Designs. Hoffman Designs, okay. Right. Um, then from there... And, and is it, this is the longer fender, because I know they, they do make a shorter one, no? Yeah, they make the shorter one. I, you know what, I like the shorter one, but I didn't like it for my build. I wanted something that offered, one, a little bit more protection, and two, I wanted to display a little bit more carbon, because I wasn't sure if I was going to do anything else in carbon. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I was going to go with a rear carbon fender or, okay. or any additional panels, so I'm like, you know what, I feel like that little one is just not big enough. Okay. And then, obviously, the big elephant in the room, the carbon BST wheels, which are probably my favorite thing on your bike. Yeah, these are, I mean, performance upgrade, I would say first, best performance upgrade all around would be the carbon fiber wheels, number one. Right before you're gonna do motor work and all that, do the carbon fiber wheels <laughs> night and day. Listen, I, I, it's crazy to say, but I know but if you're gonna go a big bore kit, you're gonna probably pay close to the same anyway. Yeah, so you may as well do the wheels, you're gonna feel that instantly, just like you would feel a big bore kit. But the handling is gonna be night and day. Second, I, I, th would I think that people that have carbon wheels drink wine like this most of the time. Pinkies out. Yeah. I don't know if anybody caught that earlier, but I had my pinky out. <laughs> I hope you guys saw that. <laughs> so, the second upgrade that I would do would be the Crims Garage where they do the frame alignment. Okay. But this would be first and foremost. We're actually having a discussion about that at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop last week. Yeah. And it's funny you bring that up because we were talking about how many people around the area would want to do that. Because we're, it, it, it might be a thing. Yeah. So, just FYI. So, here's what we're going to do. Just, I don't know, tell me if you're good with this. When we're done here, I want you to take this out for a ride. It's a beautiful night, right? It's 70 degrees out. I want you to take this down Route 80, right? Nice and easy if you want. If you want to rip it, you can. I don't trust too many people on my bike, Junior. You know that, but I will say you need to feel these wheels. So after that, guess what? You're gonna need to add another clip into this video to give your honest opinion of what you feel. Cause your bike's well done up. Yeah. You've ridden some performance bikes. Yeah. So I want your true and honest opinion about how this bike feels. Yeah, for sure. And like I said, I don't let that's people ride my bike like that. that that's gonna be awesome. So. Um, okay, so carbon wheels, amazing, love them. Um, the crowd set up here, I love the fact that you have everything, you have the gauges in the front. Um, fun thing about, I mean, not fun thing, but great thing about Kraus is that you can either have your gauge set up uh, in the front, uh, right underneath the screen, or in the back. I know you chose yours in the back because you kind of didn't want to have part of the screen blacked off or anything like that. Right. I didn't want any, any interference. I've known, listen, from some people, they really like it. Me, personally, I had another Kraus set up on another road glide that I had that was in the front, and it was great, but you know what? I noticed that, you know what, it's kind of in the way I still kind of had to reach over it if I ever wanted yeah. to touch the screen, which is rare, but yeah. again, I don't want to have to, you know, go over it. And guess what? Right there, I see my speed on my AV, my uh, RPMs. And how, how, how tall is the, the setup? Those are, these are eight inch bars. No. Oh. The riser. The riser is, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a 10 inch, if I'm not mistaken. 10 inch with, uh, and then the bar? The line motor bar is about two and a half. Okay. So. So one and a uh, half. Like so one and a half dip. So you're probably looking at like twelve or twelve and a half. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, total it's about it's right around twelve, twelve and a half. Oh, okay. Give or take. Yeah, I like that. Um, grips. What are these? Those are hard are luck. Oh, hard luck. Hard luck grip, waffle grip, most comfortable grip I've had. Yeah, they're uh, awesome. Very soft. You know, everybody's got their preference, but me. They're affordable. They they look cool. You get them all different colors. And they're comfy. Amazing. Yeah. I love the fact they went with, with, the, with the yellow goldish windshield in the front. That was obviously. your fault. <laughs> My fault? Yeah, that was your fault. When I saw you ordered that, I was like, huh. I'm like, clockworks is making different colors. Yeah. I said, you know what? 
I need to add something. So I actually messaged, messaged Ryan over at Clockworks, and I was like, hey, send them a picture of my bike. I was debating between this and another color, and I'm like, which, which one do you think? I, I don't remember if it was the orange, or it was really? like, yeah, it was like an orangish, or they made it, maybe had something that was close to this. And I was debating between that and the yellow, and I sent them both, and I was like, hey, what do you think? You know, this is my Not nah, this week, the yellow is like, like, the perfect call. He's like, bam, he clicked back yellow, and I was like, just ordered. <laughs> yeah, it's the perfect so, call. Because you, you have, you know, the gold, it's just, all my shit's good. Yeah. I'm actually going to trade, uh, not trade, I'm actually going to change my name. I'm going to do a red one now, just in case. I'm going to keep switching it out, just add crazy colors. So, as far as the engine, everybody wants to know, I know you just mentioned, what, you only had a cam in here? Which cam do you have? SNS 475 cam. Uh, it. Love that cam. Crazy. I had the 475 on my little rider S before. I absolutely love that cam. To me, the the 475 makes the best sound. Uh, it creates a lot of power, a lot of torque. Um, it, it definitely turns a bike into a beast. So it's, it's like one of the one of the things where the first things that you should do when you have a Milwaukee 8 is put a cam in. I always tell people that it changes the sound. The Milwaukee 8s are too quiet. Um, they sound like sewing machines stock. Um, and then the, the the cam just changes everything. More power. They sound great. Okay, so you got the 475 SNS cam, um, and then you got the HPI Tunnel Ram. Tunnel Ram. Which I believe that added like seven horsepower, believe it or not. Is that with the manifold and everything? Or? Yeah, so the, the throttle body. Throttle body? Like, throttle body, I think, is a 58, if I recall correctly. And that combination, uh, six one injectors, just yeah, because okay. I think at the time we were, really, we were like really close to pushing the max on the duty cycle of the injectors, he said, it, based on the tuning and how it was set up. So he's like, they're not going to give you more power, but just so you have more fuel if you ever need yeah, yeah. it or if you decide to do it bigger. So I was like, you know what, throw, he, he's like, you don't need them. You want to do them, we'll do them. So I was like, do them. And he's like, you know, we're probably maxed out and clo or getting close to the max of the duty cycle of the other ones. Sick. So I just had them done. Well, what, uh, if you don't mind me asking, if you want to tell people, well, what, what numbers or did you get after you got dyno? So, before the carbon fiber wheels, I had... <laughs> I'm just saying, wheels. So carbon fiber wheels add some power, <laughs> just saying. Less weight, more power. Um, no, I was 123, 123 horsepower at the rear wheel with 138 torque. Oh, wow. so, and that's with a can, which you know, that's, that's pretty damn good, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. You know, I mean, listen, we say it's just a can, but it is the tunnel ram, it is the manifold, it is the, you know, the HPI pipe. Um, Which brings me to my next thing, the HPI pipe, amazing. Um, Which was luck, I told you that if yeah. you asked, uh, the day before yesterday. Yeah. I, I love the sound of the HPI, uh, HPI pipe makes, it looks great, it looks sick. Um, it is something that it's hard to get as well, which is cool, Yeah. you know, because there, there's a huge waiting list out there. Yeah, I didn't realize how big it was till yesterday when we went to Harley night. Somebody's like, yeah, I ordered an HPI, I don't know how many months ago, and he's like, I was waiting, finally I just said, forget it, and I ordered it, I got something else. Yeah, so yeah, like, dude, the, the wait list is, is insane on that, man. You got thrashing floorboards uh, for your controls and everything. Yes. How do you like those? Fantastic. Yeah. Excellent grip. I honestly... You are know, these, like, the small... Do they make bigger ones, or is that just the one they, size? They do make... These are the wrap... Uh, I believe these, these, these are the, the smaller ones, right? Yeah, these are the smaller ones. Uh, the ones that were bigger, I looked at them, and I was going to get those, and when I saw these, I actually... Compared them to the size of my foot, and I'm like, oh, no. like, I was kind of concerned that they might be uncomfortable, mm. but you know what? They're not. And I mean, to boot, they add it. They also they have a plate that you can add to the rear. That's like an additional inch. Oh, it's like an extension type of thing. Yeah. Okay. I mean, but I haven't needed them. I, I'm, I'm beyond comfortable <laughs> with them. I thought that I'd have an issue, but I didn't. And I bought the shorty levers that go with it, shorty brake lever, and okay. shorty shift lever. And truth be told, I mean, they're they're. Awesome. Okay. Nice and sturdy. They provide good grip, with, whether my feet are wet or not. So, Let, let's talk about <laughs> your suspension setup <clears throat> because right now I'm in the process of buying a front suspension. Don't know <laughs> what to go with yet. Wilbur's, which the producer here has in the background, amazing stuff, he's right? Giving, he's giving me <laughs> thumbs up. He's a huge fan of Wilbur's. I've heard great things about Wilbur's as well. Um, I'm looking. Legends is one of contenders as well. That just makes a great product. Um, and then I'm also looking at Olin's. So th those are like my top three right now that I'm looking at. Uh, but you and I'm also GP, which is what you have, which is right. my fourth one. Um, but you got GP in the front, um, and then you got the Olin's piggybacks in the back. Um, right. why, why did you go with this type of setup 
So I went with this setup. Well, and why did you go with Olin's in the front and back? So good question, great question, because the reason we, uh, Mike and I over at Get Lowered decided to, uh, to go with GP was, so this had a 21 inch front wheel prior to this, because the CVO Road Glide comes with 21. 21 inch front wheel. So, so I is, had, is the front 19 now? It's a 19. Awesome, okay. So I had it, they vowed, it was, you know, they were, the way they put it together, they vowed it for a 21 inch front wheel, because obviously you're going to get different, tra uh, I guess your travel's different in the way your rebound and compression dampening is going to be a little bit different yeah. with a bigger wheel. Um, now, guys, I'm 295 pounds also, so that is another reason why we went with the, not that Olin's can't handle a 295 guy. No, they absolutely can. They're top. Um, I'm not saying that, so before you jump down uh, Marvel Kid's throat or it's my fine. throat. It's, you said it, not They were, <laughs> before you jump down my throat. So, hey, they're, yo. they're big, hey, you know what, that circle light, that, ever since I got that circle light, there's all sorts of bad innuendos going around. Um, no, that, that, that suspension, I got it valved, you know, for myself so that I'm a bigger, I'm a bigger guy, I ride aggressively, um, and the 21 inch front wheel. So they built, so basically GP hand built them and they build them to your spec. So your whatever, weight, your weight, how you ride, you ride right. Okay. Olin's does too, but I, I, I believe Olin's are more, I, they may be more manufactured. I think GP's a little bit of a smaller company based on the research I did. Yeah. And uh, you know that they're more hands-on, and I've had no problem. They handle unbelievable with the 21. They handle even better now. I made a couple of adjustments after switching over to the 19. And they're fully adjustable, right? Yeah, they're fully okay. adjustable. Um, and then you've got the Olins in the back, three backs, which you, you like them as well. Like yeah. you like the combination with the Olins and the GP in the yes. front. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they are like the combination is great. I mean, I, listen, I get when people want to do Olins, Olins, no big deal. I totally understand. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with mismatching like that. That's why I'm looking at three or four different products. Yeah, right. It doesn't matter. No, so people. Think anything is better over stock. Hundred percent. Stock. Hundred percent. Stock is just. If you're listening out there, it's got to be done. There's got to be some wrong camera. I know, I'm looking at, <laughs> I forgot for a second, I thought we were looking at my camera. But yeah, it's gotta be done, and you know, listen, Olin's is top dog if you ask me. Yeah. I would say GP is probably in that ballpark close second or whatever, and maybe they're somewhere up there in the top with them, but overall the bike handles for them. Yes. Um, and you got a Saddleman seat on here, right? Yes, Saddleman touring seat. Okay. A uh, little bit wider for the passenger, because you know, she complained a few times. When I had the, uh, the the San Diego Customs, and by the way, it's very comfortable, which that was an issue I had. I don't know if it's because I'm a bigger guy. I had a little bit of a, a, a comfort issue, but uh, this one is way better than the SDC. It's nice. I'm more of a La Para guy, but <laughs> they make a great design, and, and, and it looks cool. It's just like I I I, I rocked a saddle man on my low rider, and it was like it took me I don't know how long to kind of <laughs> break that seat in, and it was like. You know, it could be Damn. Well, they got a 170, 180. I'm actually 168, sir. Oh. Get it straight. <laughs> um, what else you got out here? You got some hand guards from who? Are these uh, Memphis Shades? Yes, Memphis Shades hand guards. Shout out to Memphis Shades. Memphis Shades is a great company, great customer service as well. Awesome product as well. Awesome product. Because you know what? Made in the U.S. of A. That's right. And let me tell you something. They actually... You know, everybody, ha I had these and I was like debating whether to get them, and I got them. Cause I had them, I, I need to put them on my bike now for the, when it gets a little chillier. Yeah. Like but they, they, they look badass. A lot of people buy them for the, the, the cold weather, but mostly because they look badass. They look cool. So I bought them for the exact reason of the cold weather, mm -hmm. and I realized after I put them on, I was like, they look pretty badass. Yeah. yeah they look, they <laughs> and I was cool. like, I'm keeping them on. Uh, levers are stock? Stock levers. I'm surprised we haven't changed to something else. I'm, you know what? I've been looking and I just haven't found something that I'm comfortable with. I thought, I'm, you know what I have on the end? I have Behringer's on there yeah. and I love them. So they're I've, they're I've, awesome. I've considered, they're I mean, awesome. you felt them. I felt they're, they're awesome. So that's like the next I thing that I may do. Yeah. Okay. All right, so good. I, I'm I, glad. I, I, dude, I, I, that's one of the things that when, when I sat on that bike, I'm like, I want these for my bike. Right. You felt them? Do they make them in Chrome or? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're in everything. I mean, yeah, I, I like them. It's a, it's a, it's they a, feel great. it's a phenomenal feeling. It feels almost like a shorty lever without being a completely shorty lever, and that's, you know what? I'm gonna take your, uh, your opinion. Do it. In high regard. <laughs> Is um anything else we missed on here or what? Uh, chain conversion or no? You want belt driven? Stuff? No, it's chain. 
It's true. Right, so oh, right. Trans trans change. Yo, like what what Come else? Kind of, what kind of question? What is else that? are we gonna be talking about? I have a trash chain conversion. Um I tried to keep it as close to stock as possible just because I wanted the gearing and I still wanted some top end. I wanted the bottom end torquiness of a of a of a Harley. Yeah. Right? But I still wanted to be able to not that I go fast that often, but if I wanted to go fast, I wanted to have that top end range mm -hmm. where I can still, you know, have a, a, a good balance between the two. So. And this is a 117 from factory, uh, right? Yes. That's okay. Correct. Um, anything else that we didn't go through or you want to go over? Uh, the only other thing that you can't really see, oh, I have the Trask transmission cover, which frees up a little bit of power, supposedly, according to their claim. and. You know, you don't have to have the vent dipstick, I believe, when you have that. Good oil flow. Yeah, good yep. oil flow. Um, transmission flows a little bit freer. The, other, the only other thing would be the, uh, from Grimm's Garage, when I had the, the, the transmission, I mean, the, uh, the chassis alignment done, he changed my bearings in the swing arm, and he showed me the difference. And believe it or not, again, me being a bigger guy, maybe that makes a big difference, but there was some play in my bearings. Yeah. And when he showed me that and he showed me this was a stock Harley bearing versus the one that I put in, you could see mine was much thicker and much more robust. And I was like, okay. So now that is gonna come into where you ride it and you feel like, oh, okay. What, you know, I want you to tell me because one of our producers wrote it and he was like, holy, well, he's like, you know, I'd like to get him on camera and just to see what his opinion was. Donnie, come on. Producer. You come, out? come on producer out here. Producer Donnie, quick. we got two. We got two producers here today. It's only it's only me in my garage, and sometimes producer Jerry. But th this guy has a whole. I have a whole, whole production. Who are you, team. right? We have, we're the support team. We like to come in and make sure things are funny. <laughs> so you rode the bike, right? right? So I rode the bike. Uh, Rich stopped by uh, a week or so ago, and uh, you gotta ride the bike. Take it around the block. Carbon wheels just got put on. Um, first thing I noticed, it's stiff. It's stiff, and when I mean stiff, I'm not talking about steering. It feels like a brand new bike, yeah. like like a brand new car where the doors close correctly and everything is tight. It turns like like a lightweight, almost like a sport bike, like a lightweight adventure bike almost. I couldn't believe it. So I, I, a couple more laps around the block, just turning side to side, taking turns. Um, besides the handling, this bike in particular, um, my bike, I'm embarrassed to say, is stock. No motor work. So it has the stock. Um, you have great suspension though. Yes. Team Wilbers over Dan. here. Thank you out for Team Wilbers. Torque on a stock Harley, I guess it kicks in around 2200 and it, and it pulls up to 4000 or whatever. This bike kicks in hard at 3000. I, I felt like under 3000, 2500 RPMs, it doesn't want to be there. It, 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 it forces you to go up to like yeah. 3000 RPMs and then it kicks in hard and it pulls. So this bike is it's a performance bagger. That's what it is. Yeah. It's, it's the definition of a, of a performance bagger. I think that that's like the, yeah. way, the best way to put it. This, this is the $60,000 performance bagger that this guy almost got rid of before we all hanged him. And, and by the and, way, it knocked some sense into him. I think that pretty much covers everything. Uh, did we miss anything on your bike or no? Just to make no, sure. No, I mean, performance wise, no. I mean, the Baja headlights, you know, we, I mean, I don't know frame, if we covered You didn't that, talk about frame alignment. I, I did. No, yeah, I mentioned, yeah, 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 I mentioned the frame that. alignment. That's. I mean, that's one of the key things. That that would be my, you know, tied for first with the carbon fiber wheels, or, or a close second as far as like benefits that I've felt on a bagger, and like really would say like we spend so much money on everything else. Why not just go and like get the link that you need if you need it. I didn't need the link in that in my particular case. It was pretty well aligned. But he aligned the rear end and then did the bearings. Nice. And like again, when you ride it, that's when he's gonna give you guys a full account of like that stiffness that Donnie claimed. Like it's not a stiffness like oh my god, this bike is terrible. It rides terrible. It's not that stiffness that he's talking about. It's a stiffness. It's like when you get into a performance car, right? Mm. You know what I mean? That type where you get into a, 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 a car that's been lowered, but it doesn't bottom out in the bumps. This is what he's talking about. When you start taking a turn and you're like, holy cow, this is like... And it's just... Yeah, you feel like it's on rails. Yeah. You're going to be like... And that's why I want you to take it out so you can give me your honest opinion. Th this video is long enough as it is already, so it, I think yeah, I think it's going to be pretty cool to just make that its own video. 
which we'll probably do absolutely tomorrow in the daylight if you're free or next week or whatever tomorrow but that nice day. that, that video is going to come soon so that's going to be his own video impressions of riding this monster beautiful bike right here um i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video I hope you guys have enjoyed to get in connect with their two producers here which you're gonna see more of on the channel later on as well um beautiful bike beautiful build hats off to you my friend it, uh, the build the amazing. bike looks amazing cheers. it looks great cheers to that um, and i know that you're you're, you're not I'm done yet you. either i know you have a lot of stuff that you're still cooking up and ideas oh, um as as we all do because we're, we're never done with our builds but i think we should uh touch our our there we go. cheers Toast. Biggie's out. Biggie's out. Biggie's out, brother. Brother. <laughs> brother. 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 <laughs> All right, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. Let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Brother. Peace. So much brother. So much brother right here. <laughs> <laughs>